Hello guys, welcome back to Dr. Cool Auto Fix channel. If you come in here for the first time, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification. As you can see right now, it's heavily dropping, seriously drenching hard and downpour down here. But today I decided I want to respond to a new subscriber in my channel who is having a problem with his AC continuously, the clutch is engaged and he said he has taken it to different uh, AC shops and I couldn't actually figure out exactly the reason why he said and I quote he have replaced the compressor with a brand new one and pull vacuum for one hour and get the right quantity but still the compressor is continuously engaged so let me open this car up that I'm fixing this is Mercedes ML320 and uh, I'm gonna be using this one to narrate exactly what you should expect that's the compressor there so I'm going to go ahead and start up this car and uh, I'm going to make this compressor to be continuously disengaged I mean continuously engaged then I'm going to make it to continuously uh, to short cycle and cut off then I'll tell you guys watch I'll tell you guys exactly what I did so let me hang the this guy here first. Just a moment. This is a tricky situation. Okay, finally. I will hang it up there. So now I want to go ahead and uh, I have my discharge connected and a suction connected. So let me go ahead and order the driver to on the AC system and I'll demonstrate it to you guys. First of all, we're going to create a short cycling situation. Then after creating a short cycling situation, then we'll create a continuous engaged situation in this car. So I'm going to be using this car to teach you guys how this system operates in the short cycling and continuous clutch engagement. Okay. The car has started. You see the clutch has not engaged. Now the clutch has engaged. Now let's watch it and see how long it's gonna actually stay. engaged and I will explain to you guys what this really means. Okay guys, I've made this AC system to the clutch to be continuously engaged. So let's look at it and see. Then after that, I'm going to explain to you guys what I did. And so use that to solve your own continuous clutch engagement problem. And I'll explain to you guys how the system Operating system of the AC system works. Now, you guys can see that it's no more far enough. Let's give it more time for the sake of uh, let's give it the benefit of doubt. It's not disengaging. It's still not disengaging. It's not stopping. So, 
technically that is what most of you guys have as a problem so i'm gonna address that shortly but i just want to prove to you guys gonna have much more time and look at it and see it's not gonna i'm not gonna edit this video or cut it i'm still just gonna upload it like this so you guys it's gonna be a case study on a continuous watch engagement now okay i'm gonna go ahead and make it to start cutting up again Okay, let's watch it again. Now you see it, guys. So, that's a good one. Now it's back on. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, on this very first face here, after the testing, after recreating the situation which a lot of you guys are facing, like you can see right now, the system is short cycling. I recreated it and I recreated the short cycling and recreated the prolonged clutch engage situation, a typical situation which will come across in the car AC system. Now, what you have to understand there is if the clutch is engaged for a long time it means a certain thing and if it's short cycle very much frequently that it doesn't cool the cabin that's another different problem entirely so if it is engaged continuously definitely your compressor is going to overheat and crash or rest in peace in in a very short time even if it's a brand new one so technically speaking is a whole picture is the bigger picture of the entire ac system trying to understand the short cycling so what it means in other words is that there is a poor airflow across the evaporator core which is most often caused by a clogged pulling filter that is number one if you're having a consistent short cycling and the second reason for that is there is too much refrigerant inside the system that the compressor could handle so it's actually short cycling in order to safeguard the system and therefore resulting to a poor cooling or no cooling but in a situation of a prolonged clutch engagement there is 99.9% .9 chance that the system efficiency is completely reduced like you know the system is not cooling and therefore since it's not really blowing cold and the system is trying as much as possible as much as the compressor trying to validate the threshold temperature the benchmark of the temperature which has been designed by the manufacturer that as soon as you reach that very certain stage then a short cycling is going to occur so that benchmark could be 10 degrees it could be 5 degrees all right but in my own calculation that benchmark that is very normal for human use should be around 12 degrees and 14 degrees so if the system get low and blow cold to 12 degrees then the thermistor within the evaporator core is going to shut it off shut the power off and the temperature will start rising building up again in the evaporator core as soon as it start building and start going to heat around 16 to 17 degrees celsius it to send back the power on again and that is when the clutch get engaged back so if the clutch continuously runs it means the system have a poor cooling and the system is still trying hard to be able to uh, reach the lowest threshold parameter of the temperature coefficient that is actually designed or coded into the climatronics uh, amplifier system so that is exactly what it is so in order for you to solve it you have to understand every system component of your car how that works and diagnose it proficiently in order to be able to 
get your system back so but if you leave it to continuously run the compressor is gonna die because it's gonna overheat so i hope you find this very helpful to subscribe to my channel i'll catch you guys later i remain dr quota fix bye for now before you go if you still need any further information on how to solve this then go ahead and drop me a comment in the comment section but if the information which you're getting here is not enough and you want to understand how the ac system works in advanced level then go ahead and purchase my course and you're going to understand everything that is happening here 